Previously on Family Business. You still a little, bro? Get Moravia to make the comeback happen. Eli Isaac would love to invite y'all to play against Team Overtime. Oh, oh my goodness. That's why. Oh, oh my lord. Oh. What are you scared of? Play hard. You already failed. Bro, just give me the ball, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. The game is not over. Down three. Hell of a comeback. Hell of a comeback. I told the bench, I'm going to get a charge right here. Oh, foul. We're thinking we really might win this now. Here's a chance for the win. Hell, hell, hell. I tried to get open, couldn't get open, threw it to Drew. Three seconds left to go. Uh-oh, uh -oh, two. For the one. game! For the game! What I tell you from the beginning? Here's a chance for the win. Three seconds left to go. I really want to win. Be one of the first teams to beat Overtime Elite. Uh-oh, -uh, two. For the one. game! For the game! You know, it's just really crazy how, how everything fell in the line. For the game! For the game! Team Overtime seals it! Game over. I'm sick right now. We gave it a run, we almost came back. I was just thinking, like, what's my dad gonna say? He walks in, he was just silent. Good thing is, you are the best human beings in our country. All right? I ain't mad at you. Hey, let me tell you if I might have been mad if we'd have lost my 15 and went out without a fight. But when I see my little guys fighting and they close the gap in three minutes, I'm like, damn, that was my fault. I should have played the news earlier. At least they'd have fallen. We would have just brought the fight to them if they would have won. So we're good. Hand me on three. One, two, three. Bam. You know, it's tough just being a young kid in the game. Can he hang? Can he form? Can he compete? I mean, this is unfair. This would be the worst loss in regular history. Overrated, and you suck, you're all hype. Once you blow up, people are just waiting to see what's going to happen like every move you do. You know, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of expectations, especially when you get to high school. You already failed! Why would all this fall in place for us not to play with? That makes sense. You know, it can get to you, and it's hard dealing with that at such a young age. <sighs> Tough times are still in front of me, and it's just something I'm going to get through throughout the rest of the season, the rest of my basketball career. Just playing against all those big time players in such a big time environment. It was all around just not a great tournament for us. So when we came out flat against OT, people probably thought this just couldn't perform, we couldn't play in this level. Having all the eyes on you is just a lot of pressure sometimes because everybody expects you to perform every game. And you know, it's hard to do that and it's, it's hard for people to expect that from somebody who's so young. Just having all this exposure at such a fast time in the short months we've blown up, so it's a lot of pressure. Other than that, I just try to block it out and just focus on what I need to work on. Just bounce back after a tough game. We play against another nationally ranked team, AZ Compass, in a few days, and hopefully it's going to be it's going to be a big game for me. I feel like every team has our number. Now that we're nationally alone and maybe even globally, every time when they come to see us, they're coming at us, so they're trying to beat us every time. Let's go, man. Finna turn up real quick, man. Let's tune in real quick. When I get that pressure, what I do to go against it is try to just tone everything out and then, you know, just play basketball. Right now, I'm pretty much just living it up, you know, having fun. Yes, sir! Let's go, man. I just like that. I told you, I'm the, be I'm the best Fortnite player in the house. Better than that man right there. Bro, what if I win the game? 
Yeah. This man said, Eli, what's up, bro? Let's go, bro. Come put me in 1v1. Alright, bet that. Come on, bro. Alright, but not my bike. I can't hear. <laughs> I got his <laughs> <laughs> Ain't oh, no. let's go, bro. 1v1. Eli. No, bro. Eli. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not too I'm doing too much. No, 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 no. Should I do too much? No, 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 no. Just like too much, bro. You don't wait too much. I, I, I won't freaking knock you down. I won't freaking knock you down. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I'm doing way too much right now. You lucky cameras here, man. You know me and Isaac, we fight sometimes, but it's all love at the end of the day. Hey, by the way, he sucks at Fortnite. Don't watch him on Twitch. You know, one thing that gets me in a good spirit is just destroying Isaac in a 1v1. Well, give it a ball. We fight sometimes. <laughs> but we always have each other's back. Break out of here. Hmm? The competitive drive just started, like, as we were kids. I mean, just as brothers, like, we're always going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Always trying to beat each other. My dad always made it a competition, so literally everything we do is a competition. Get that wig out of here! what I say? Solid! A lot of people say I play like Tyler Hero. He has a lot of swagger where I'm hitting a little adversity. I just look and see what he did and see what he was able to push through and know that I can do the same. Okay, okay. Bro, that's... I'm out of my game after JJ read it. Oh, that's about it. He's been one of the main players that I watched. Shoot it. That's what you missed. Bro, every time I shoot, the wind blows it. The wind blows it. Ah! Oh, yeah. Hey. That counts. <laughs> Game point. Now we're going 21. I said 11 before the thing, so he never said that. Playing 11, you gotta jump in the pool. Loser gotta jump in the pool. Alright, bet, 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 bet. Game point. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's gay. Pool, let's go. It's January. Freezing cold, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. This man about to jump in the pool because he lost to me in a 1v1. That's sad, bro. Bro, you got five, four, three, two, one. Oh, God! <laughs> man, you just gotta stop playing me, bro. You know what happens. The same outcome every time. Older brothers always win, no matter what. Yeah, job one. <laughs> yeah. That wraps up, guys. Eli Ellis comes out on top, like always. Peace out. We know we show up every big game. Arizona Compass, Arizona Navigator, Arizona Ship, Moravian in five. We're getting prepped for Arizona Compass, and we all know how hard this is going to be. You know, we've done pretty well against the in-state opponents, but this is a huge game for us. We were watching film this morning. My dad was trying to get us prepared for what we're about to play against. So, scouting report, everything we told you this week is true. They run, run, run. They're big, long, strong, athletic. Five, five stars. They have eight top 100s on their team. I think their smallest player is like 6'3", and that's their point guard. You know, if we lose this game, these national ranked opponents, they're going to think we're all hype and, you know, they can poke us out. They average about 74 points a game, but we're going to shoot 43s. But everybody's got to be ready to handle pressure. I really think, like, I think you're probably the key to the game. So how well you handle the pressure. Because he'll be able to score in the mid-range and from three, but we'll have to pull him off the ball like they're that physical on the ball. It will be a war. Get your mind ready for a war. The good thing is, we've been in five games like this. Be very similar to SoCal, but they just play harder. Be very similar to Combine, but they're a little more talented. The closest thing I can compare to is OTE. And let's be honest, you play OTE in Charlotte, you beat them. 
the OT Elite, we were able to make a comeback. Against AZ Compass, you won't be able to make a comeback. If we stick to doing what we do best and, you know, fight and stay together, we should win this game. You know, we're out here in Charlotte for this big game. Me and Isaac are on a big stage today. You know, there's a lot of eyes, a lot of media. There's a lot of cameras everywhere. They're following you around. It's prime time basketball right here. You know, this is our home state, our home city, and we just got shot against this nationally ranked opponent. Yes, sir, house money, you know the vibe of To go in and beat these guys, we just have to do what we do, make threes, rebound, box out, and just play our game. The game's about to start, we're walking out of the court, and these dudes are just massive. You know, this could get scary pretty quickly. You know, a coward dies a thousand deaths, but a soldier dies but one. Think about how many guys quit. Why'd they quit? It was fear. Fear they weren't good enough. Fear they couldn't play on this stage. Think about why you didn't quit. Because you had something inside of you that says, man, I'm built for this. Like, I'm not gonna quit. You got each other's back. We ain't quit. We're here. We just gotta walk out the door. And I'm going to clip on these dudes. Yes, sir. One, two, three, five. We came out swinging, doing what we do best. And just hitting threes. I subbed in, I threw it to Jackson. They trapped him, he threw it back to me, and I hit a one drill pull up. Three. And we just get off to a great start. At the beginning, they were playing a little sloppy. You know, they could tell you they weren't really warmed up that much. We can't take our foot off the gas either. They're a momentum team. So, you know, a few missed shots or turnovers, and this game could go wrong quickly. You know, their size is just ridiculous, and that's where they're starting to beat us right now. Crowd's getting intense. Right now, it looks like the tide's starting to change. The team is just going on a run right now. They take the lead, and it's just back and forth right now. It's getting intense. Our team is really stepping up. Myra Wall was really helping in and just getting to the rim and knocking down threes. But they're just coming back and scoring with us. They're slowly starting to pull away, so we just got to hang in there with them. First half comes to the end, and they're up by 10, and it's just a struggle right now. You know, we we're all kind of tired, all kind of worn out, beat up a little bit. My R has 10, Eli has 7, I was going 6. They got 23 of our 24 points. Lane, so, hey, you making yourself known, he's getting a shot. I mean, you got probably four or five rebounds. I mean, these are five stars, dude. We, we almost have to play a perfect half. And so we can't have, I mean, we had five turnovers in the first five minutes. And we're still right in the game. It was a one-point game because we were shooting it with confidence. The story of the game is really just, they really did everything. They were getting to the paint, dunking it, knocking down threes, playing defense. They're just playing really smart. Now it's a new half, it's a new game. We gotta be locked in. No more turnovers, no more missed free throws, no more bad rotations, and we're in it. But you're gonna fight. You're gonna fight the whole game. Hey, guys, 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 the second half starts, and we know this is gonna be really hard. And it's not a good start. Come on, guys. As a team right now, we just don't really know what to do. My dad looks like he's about to flip. <laughs> Mr. Ref, he didn't have a ball. Well, these refs, even in our hometown, they're not helping us out either. It's unreal, man. Have you got 150 50 uh -huh. yet? Not one. I understand that, Coach. No, you don't understand. You no, know, it's getting heated in here. No. This is really tough.
They were just clamping us and we were just turning the ball over. Let's see how much fight we had throughout our team. Yes, that time again. Leveling up, doing my thing. Yes, that time again. Defending the title, king of the ring. Yes, that time again. Even though we're down, we're still trying to make things happen. Maybe we can make this a game. Every time we make noise, they just keep pulling back ahead. We gotta make something happen because nothing's going right right now. Dropped a five star. But missed a shot, so. I was a little mad at myself. If I would've hit that shot, it would've been a momentum swing. Now. We can't find any room to shoot, and they're just playing crazy good defense. Yeah. And then they ended up putting us away, so. You guys want to play Division One? That's what it is. I mean, it's, it's very, very physical. It's physical. It's athletes. We can make excuses, but at the end of the day, uh, we just want ready. It's hard to get fully ready for those type of games because when are you going to ever play ten five stars in one game? They're better than team. It's kind of hard to get prepared for that, but I feel like we are ready enough. That's the best high school team Moravian has ever played against. The only team I've ever seen better than them was the Montverde team of K County. If you'd have played a perfect game, you might have been about to. But they'd have had to play bad. But hell, that would get me. Probably hell you. It was a really tough loss, but we were proud of ourselves for still competing. You too. Hey, Lane, unbelievable. If you don't play tonight, we lose about 35. So my arm, I mean, the hell. Unbelievable, though. I don't know if I've seen anybody come as far as you have in three months. It's unreal. So we ain't gonna quit. We ain't gonna blame nobody. We'll figure it out. It's a long season. We gotta find a way to improve. On the next episode of Family Business. We're starting a three-day Big Shots tournament. Combine, vertical, word of God, some of the best teams in the state are going to be there. Everybody's going to play. We've got 10 games in like 17 days. It's a rematch against vertical, and everybody wants to see it. You can't stop an eighth grader for scoring a bucket. Go get the ball. Go dunk it. We should be killing these dudes without liking. Oh, no, nah, they was hooping, hooping. You see that? Hey, yo. You need to watch these videos right here and subscribe. I'm mind blown. My head hurts.